Hello, my name is Kathleen West. Today I will be demoing a virtual reality application that I made as part of a course on virtual reality called Creating Virtual Reality VR Apps. I actually took the intro course, How Virtual Reality Works, and that was a great course. But what really gave me the hands-on application experience was the Creating Virtual Reality VR Apps offered by EDX and through partnership with the University UC San Diego Extension. Here's a curriculum for the Creating Virtual Reality VR Apps course. We had six weeks and each week had hands-on activity where we had to turn in a deliverable and assignment and demo it. Um, it was great and then the last week we had a final project that kind of combined everything we learned throughout the course into one big last final project. As mentioned we had to do deliverables but instead of um, turning in code we had peer review and in order for us to get 100% our peers had to grade us on what we turn in with our assignments. So we had to create PowerPoint, pres I mean not PowerPoint, <laughs> Google presentations and each one had a video demo, usually on YouTube, that showed all our features working. And here is a list of some of my YouTube videos for the class and they demo all the features working and I talk about that and I demo it in each video and our peers had to check off on the requirements. So I will be uh, demoing my final version of my project and showing you some of the features that I did for the course and some other commentary as well. Just so you know, the project and the course um, was developed to target the Google VR um, developer package with um, an outdated uh, <laughs> cardboard, uh, with, with the cardboard, the Google Cardboard um, SDK. And uh, I do have a Google Cardboard device that I use to uh, look at my project. Um, so what, um, sorry the cat <laughs> interrupting me, but uh, so the, what you need to know about this project, it, it runs on a very specific Unity version and um, it's nitpicky about that. What I don't like about Unity right now is that um, it's not really backwards compatible on old projects so there is a lot of issues problems that can't necessarily be solved easily um, when you take an old project and you work with a newer version of Unity so unfortunately when I was working on this course it was already outdated and I, I did a lot of workarounds to get it to work based on this Unity version. However, I found out with the newer versions of Unity, they, they deprecated a lot of the features that made Google Cardboard uh, work well in the, um, the software development kit for that as well. Um, so I, I don't have an easy solution on how to run this or easy answer at this point on how to run this particular project with Google Cardboard uh, on newer versions of Unity. Um, so I'm going to demo it on the version that I developed it for. Again, I did try to run this on a newer version. So many issues. <laughs> Too little time, not worth my effort and stress to deal with it. Um, I do, do think that the uh, Google Cardboard technology was great while it lasted, but it's 
really deprecated now and not many people use that platform anymore but uh, this class was was all about that particular technology and so I went with it anyways I hope to see you in the uh, the demo section next hello again here is the unity VR project open in the specific build version of unity specified um, to the left is the object browser with every major thing in the scene um, I've subdivided it I've got the main player I've got the Google VR um, libraries and, and objects that are used for control and, and the demo in the game I've got some cameras, the main camera, and I've got a mirror camera, which is kind of cool. I'll show you. My main room consists of structures, furniture, and some food items, and some cool decorations. I had originally wanted to, to try to get this TV to play something uh, for the project, but I ran out of time. I was starting a new job the next week, and I had to to really um, uh, quicken this project to get it done. It was not a requirement to get a YouTube video on that TV, but it was my desire to do so. Maybe in the future I will do, do a project like that. I think that would be kind of cool. Hello again. Um, so I went ahead and started the game mode. Basically, this emulates what a user would see through their Google Cardboard on a gaze selection system. So, uh, with a Google Cardboard, you only have just your view and a little button magnet that activates. So, in the game view, the, uh, pressing control and the mouse, uh, cursor to move the mouse around will move you in the game. Now you start out stationary however you have a uh, user menu that's available and this will follow you as you move throughout the game. You have different ways of, of locomotion. You could walk as you can see that I am doing right now you can teleport which is like a quick way of moving or you can fly 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 which is kind of cool so those are the three ways of moving about in the game next portion of the requirements I would like to demonstrate is actually uh, Oh, what did I do? <laughs> I think I flew. What did I flew out of my game by accident? <laughs> well, actually, there is this is like a room within a room. So basically, I made a room and then I made a skybox of a 360 picture of me and my husband on vacation. And this is a hotel room, so it's a room within a room. Okay, we're gonna stop, stop moving around, and we're gonna go ahead and create some furniture. We're gonna create a table. I'm gonna place a table. I'm gonna get a chair, and I am going to make a lamp. Ooh, there's more light. It came pre-lit. Forgot about that. But that's cool. So as you can see, it cr can create objects. And we're going to also create some food. How about a beer? And notice, you can't place it on the floor. It has to be on a table object. Because we're not, um, we're more sophisticated. We don't eat food off the floor in this game. We don't drink beer off the floor. Chicken. It's on the table. Notice it won't go on the floor. 
no, a few more chicken. So, no eating off the floor. How about some pie? Ooh, that's kind of cool. So, with this option here, the user can create beer, chicken, or pie. They can also create chair, furniture, chair, table, or lamp. And they can only place the food items on a table. Hello, the next uh, feature I would like to demonstrate are the transformations. So I have three transformations translate, rotate, and scale. And we're going to do this on existing objects. So I'm going to go ahead and translate a chair. And notice the gaze system, um, how it highlights on objects that are available to move about. And you kind of like have to play with it to try to, to move furniture items. could also move, uh, let's place another chair and I'll sh right in front of us because it's so far away. It's hard to translate items so um, far away. See how it moves about easily? So it's easier to translate the items that are where you're really close to it and it's easier to manip manipulate. Remember we're, we're using a gaze system and the user would be pressing down on their button as an action. Okay, we can do rotation on objects and this is this this these transformations apply to the furniture and the food items as well. And then next is the scale feature, large chair, tiny chair. And there is a limit of how tiny it can go. <laughs> um, so I have demonstrated the transformations available on these objects. Next, I would like to uh, demonstrate, oops. Um, walking around, you notice when I walk around, both the menu, user interface menu follows me wherever I go, and also this thing called a mini map. As you can see, there's two tables here, the TV, and I am somewhere over here. So. Here is a mirror, and I am my player is represented as a red globe at this point. I can move further, further away. There's the mirror. I know this is very elementary, but some lighting. Now, the assignment did ask the music be played with surround sound. There was some issue with outdated uh, packages that were not compatible after this class was written, so I couldn't do that. Um, there were other challenges as well with this class because the technology was uh, Google uh, VR Cardboard uh, and Unity started to become incompatible with some of the features and then the way the course was taught, you know, things get rearranged or go out of, out of existence and then it, a, a standard feature becomes now a plug-in and, and then it was a challenge to try to figure out that while completing all these requirements. <laughs> So, um, I wish Unity would make this a little bit more, um, you know, compatible with other applications. And here's a big piece of chicken. 
How about a big piece of pie? <laughs> and let's go ahead and... Oh, I, I don't think I, I, I can move around anymore. <laughs> I made a I made a bug glitch in my program where I made things so big I can't uh, see the menu anymore. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my demo. Um, this might be of historical significance when looking back at Google VR cardboard apps and development in Unity. Um, I hope to. Uh, work with other technologies. I think I'm going to focus on the WebGL as I think that's the future now. Web doing um, VR development for WebGL. 